Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gobo, this is Christopher Draves, and this is Matt. I'm not gonna butcher his last name. No. <laughs> it's wise. I'll butcher you. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. As we did a video, as you guys saw, late in the afternoon, it took like four hours just to upload an hour-long video. Yeah, we talked about the issue with the Chicago Wolves and ownership. And then they give us more Vegas. content. Yep. And then they give us more. Oh, they give us more. They, they didn't give us more. Vegas gave us more. <laughs> we were waiting for Vegas, and they're like, ha-ha, we have this in their pocket. They talked about it. They talked <laughs> about it. Here we go. All right, you want me to do it or you? Uh, go for it. All right, the Garden Knights officially announced that they are purchasing the San Antonio Rampage, permanently ending their relationship with the Chicago Wolves at the end of the season. Woo. Yeah, so bye-bye Wolves affiliate number five? Yeah, yep. number five if you include the Thrashers. Yeah, yeah. The Thrashers the, slash Winnipeg. Winnipeg yeah. yeah. But yeah, the Golden Knights, uh, you said bye-bye to the Wolves. Uh, nobody likes the Wolves, or nobody likes the Wolves' owners, I should say. Okay, so I, I kind of do like this comment here. Um, this is in the Ch Chicago Sun-Times. Uh, this was quoted by the uh, by the Blues. Well, the Blues parents, yeah. Yep. Uh, no, just literally the Blues made a statement. The ownership and GM, if I remember correctly. Yes. The, though the Blues do not have an affiliate, they are looking immediately. The Wolves are in need of a parent club, but it does not mean a reunion is guaranteed. See, already, this, like, not to interrupt that already, that already sets the tone. That already sets the tone. We talked about this, I talked about this on social media today, about this didn't work the first time. They were, what was it, they were one year shy of completing a five-year a five-year uh, contract in affiliation, and what is it? They, they they crumpled it up and said, "Okay, we're going independent." So, <laughs> and what happened when they went independent? They won a cup. Because mm -hmm. last year wasn't that the Wolves' uh, first year as Vegas' affiliate last year? Yeah, th they didn't win a cup though. No, the Blues, when they went independent. Oh, when the Blues went independent, I thought, yeah. No, yeah, when the Blues yeah. went independent, they won a cup. Yeah. No. Or a, Their first year with San Antonio, they did. Yeah. Ah, uh, never mind, so. But then again, that's the Wolves' precedent, is to just win cups. Not to develop, not to, you know. Not to live up to your end of the bargain. Okay. All right, so let's, let's, we talked about that a little bit. We've done enough Dirt on the wolves over the last 24, yeah, 48 dirt, hours. Dirt, give me the sign. Give me the sign right now. Okay, because again, we're not tossing dirt onto the fans. We're tossing dirt onto the organization. Yeah, the organization, you're killing your fans. I feel bad for wolf fans. I feel, and especially, not only speaking of fans that I feel sorry for, I feel sorry for the San Antonio Rampage fans. Yeah, they just had their team stolen from them. They don't get any say on this. And yes, I, I understand that, yes, we don't typically own, we do not own the teams, but we are the things that breathe life into it. Yeah, we're, we're the, we're the, we're the proverbial the seventh man. Yeah. We're the money. We we're, equal we're money the, to these We're things. the loud mouths and the, we're the, we're the loud mouths. We're the guys that buy the cowbells in our section. We're it's the guys our that money show that up. you guys need. Um, I, I do want to give a props to one of the Admirals fans. His name is Troy. I'm not going to give you your last name just because I don't want to be that way. He's an awesome dude. Um. Uh, he said, I'm from Milwaukee. I'm an Admirals fan. I really feel for the San Antonio fans. All you have done to support this franchise from day one, San Antonio is an, ex an incredibly strong AHL market, and the Rampage will certainly be missed by many of the other fans throughout the league. Hopefully pro hockey comes back soon. See, then that's, that's really classy. Stick tap to that. I'm sorry. Like, again, I got you good. I agree. <laughs> like, again, like... Troy hits it right on the head here. No one, and we, we even touched on this yesterday, no one, and I mean no one deserves to lose a club as a fan. Nobody. We've, I mean, look at what just our podcast alone have put into our heart and soul into this team. And it's, if they had time and left, we'd yeah. be pissed. Our, this we, is our, we're not talking about going to games. We're talking no. about... This is our personal time out of our lives. We're sitting here chatting about this. It's and almost three like, in the morning here. Please. Yeah, exactly. And like, the, we've already seen this happen already with, like, say, uh, Peoria Riverman. Yeah. yeah, that hurt. That was one of the most despicable losses 
Two and games. they eventually so came back, but they dropped down a league. They dropped two. down a league. Two. Yeah. yeah. They're the... The SPHL. Yeah, they're the, the SPHL. Southern Pearl Hockey League. That's a shame. Yeah. That is such a shame. Yeah, they're basically a step above They had you. some of the nicest fans of all time. And anyway, so I'm going to read you the statement uh, from, from the Rampage. Let's, let's, establish, let's establish who this owner is and where he's coming from, too. From okay, I will... Get, all right, so the, 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 the person that did this is the... R.C. Buford, uh, sports, Spurs Sports and Company CEO. Owner of the San Antonio Spurs NBA team. Or not, I, I don't know if he's the owner, he's just the CEO. He's just the CEO like, of it's Spurs the Entertainment. Group that yeah, owns yeah, the yeah, team. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, we are extremely grateful to our staff, our fans, and our partners who have supported the Rampage for the last 18 years. While this was a difficult decision to make, we believe it is in the best. Wait, we believe it. This move is is the best for the long term success of Spurs Sports and Entertainment. This, this is all I got. Essentially, what this he's is. trying to say, fans, uh, we were losing money, so we had to get it back. So later. That's it. The nice. Here's the thing: they were above average in, 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 in attendance. So how are you losing money? It's. I don't know, dude. Like we talked about this off camera. Like to me, this just reeks of like. We're, we want to focus all efforts onto one, like one asset or one, you know, one money. Yeah, maker. essentially they want to put. They just want to put. Money they're putting the all in on the Spurs. That's yep. it. You can bank on the Spurs all you want to, but eventually the the thing is, is if if you do that, you're pigeonholing your arena into just an NBA arena. Kind of like the Bucks did with the Pfizer. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they, they they've already said that Pfizer is capable of holding uh, NHL. I, I know yeah. it is, but will it happen? Probably not. Well, they've it's already no they're already working on something with the the Badgers already. Yeah. Yeah, they're already working Badger hockey. Oh, that tournament thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's 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 I something. Know. That's something. It's something, but but still nothing. Okay. Let's, let's talk about, we'll talk about like I want to talk a little bit about AT and T Center where the the Rampage are going to play until the end of the season for them. Yeah. Which I I had to laugh in one of the articles where they said, oh, uh, they're they're they won't leave at the end of the season unless they make the playoffs. You know what? You could have just easily said it's done, it's done. And what's going to give fans the incentive to even go the rest of the year now? Yeah. What's what's what? Why would the fans even go to this anymore? Why would why waste money? Yeah. And then my favorite is that they're probably are the fans that probably already put deposits down for next year. They yeah. getting their money back. <laughs> okay. So one of their season ticket holders had said, "I'm heartbroken, RC Buford. Right now, I hate you more than I've hated anything. I moved all the way from New York. I love hockey. And yeah, you've just had it taken from you. <laughs> yeah. And you've just had. I mean, here's the thing. You're living in a pretty much the south. Is a retirement zone. You're in the desert. You're in the desert. Yeah. And uh, like this is the one thing that I can hope, honestly, hope for is that, like, hockey has been, like, has been kind of screwed over in the uh, the Texas area because even the Houston Arrows were screwed over in the same exact way because it was the was it the Houston Rockets of the Toyota Center basically pushing the the Arrows out. All right. So, so the next time. Uh, we see them. We've got one coming up in February. Yes, we played them. Uh, the Milwaukee Admirals play them on February 26th. So, um, and we do play them uh, in March too. As twice. Well. Twice. Uh, we played them the school day game, and then we played them late in March. So, um, on our last game, we're we're I'm a, I'm about to get you know as they leave the ice I, as normally I normally don't I I you know if I'm I'm a fan. Boo, we're gonna here. give we're gonna give them stick taps in some way because this is this, this is, sucks. Yeah, this sucks. I mean, and, and the worst part about it is is not only does it hurt their fan base, but now all the Blues fans that bought San Antonio gear just to support now now having to put money into another affiliation and and the third one in like five years. Going from Peoria to Chicago, Chicago to, to, the, to, to total independence, where that was that must have been a total crapshoot. Yeah. Like that's it. This is this is the like the like this is why we're at, 
as Admiral fans, uh, we're kind of privileged a little bit to have a consistent affiliation for so long as what, we're on year 19 now? Yeah. We've gone on two decades. Of and, and you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious to what the Colorado Avalanche fans think, the people that initially put the money into San Antonio to even make this happen. Yeah. For these, the, you know, the Colorado Avalanche. Yes. Yeah, they were originally Colorado. Oh, affiliate. right, right, right. That's right. They were Colorado's affiliate all the way up to that blue blue yeah. contract. Yeah. But so, they didn't buy out a team. They just basically uh, worked with the ECHL ownership of uh, the Eagles and said, "Okay, let's make this happen." Yeah, because they needed to expand the league. Yeah. Um, so this is just one of those things where we're all sitting here going, um, "This sucks for the AHL in general." Yeah. Also, it, it, it makes it scary, too, that, like, for especially with the remaining independent teams now, now down to nine. We're down to nine now of, AH, of independent AHL teams left. And this is the scary factor where, like, not to be alarmist or, like, concerning or, like, okay, uh, the world's going to fall No, you guys should, like, rephrase what you mean by independent. When I'm thinking independent, I'm thinking no NHL affiliate. No, 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 I don't mean that. I mean, but independent, but that's independent what I, older. But no, that's, what I'm, that's what I think when I hear independent, meaning we don't okay, have Okay, not owned, not owned by the NHL affiliate. Yeah, can you, like, please rephrase that? Okay. Because, so, you know, yeah. we're not an independent team. We have an well, affiliation. We are an independent. Well, we're independently owned. That's it. We're yeah, we're, owned. we're all. Uh, there are nine independently owned teams, and two of them have either a mutual minority, yeah. either a minority ownership or a mutual deal like, that lasts a decade. Like, yeah. was it Rockford gets a uh, nine hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand a year from the Blackhawks? From the just Blackhawks to, just to have a minority stake, and yeah. that's probably why Rockford's uh, merchandise uh, gets pumped out is. Nice as it does. And that's also why they have the exclusive usage of the logos and such. They have a stake in the I team. wonder why Harris refuses to sell a portion to the Predators. Because then they would just want more. Yeah. And that's that's part of it. He wants the team to stay here. He doesn't want... Uh, uh, we don't, again, with he doesn't want to lose his full control. Of again, we have 50 years of Admiral's heritage. And what what makes this club so special is that this is a club... But what incentive would moving Milwaukee out of Milwaukee benefit Nashville? Again, because this new trend of being closer to the parents. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing that's going on right now. Helicopter is, parenting. Good job. Like, even, what is it, even with the Barracuda, they're putting a team... Was it, they're building a brand new state-of-the-art arena Still inside San Jose. Within the San Jose region. Which makes no sense. They should just keep it at the S&P Center. It's Anyways, a, let's get back to the yeah. Wolves. Oh, right. This does kind of tie into our topic. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's put it this way. Um, so, <laughs> they said that you could... Uh, okay, wait. Let me reread the, re -read this properly. All right. So, they had a purchase the San Antonio Rampage, as we have, were, have been talking about this whole time. Um, they are applying for relocation to Henderson slash Vegas. Yeah, that's uh, the southern suburb of Las Vegas. It's right where the Las Vegas Strip is located in Henderson, it's Nevada. Basically kind of like a Minneapolis-St. Paul kind of thing. Pretty much. Um, Pretty much. And this would be pending the Board of Governors of the AHL. Also, they have already started a season ticket thing yep. for them is fifty dollars to get your seat and then from there if they don't get the approval they refund it and san antonio is a man without a home and a place where, where nowhere to go which uh, you're the oakland raiders uh, <coughs> what we what's important to talk about is also what we just talked what you just said is that the board of governors have to vote on this thing. so this isn't exactly a done deal yet they still got to go through a bunch of hoops it was made clear to me that yet like it's not a done deal it's not exactly it's not, it's not done but it's gonna be done it's what, just a matter of dotting i's and crossing, crossing t's, t's on a contract what really like, like when it well, comes the, to the, stuff the, like this the one yeah. thing that's gonna make it difficult to agree on is moving a team out of Texas is going to make another team have to relocate to Texas yep. for the, the sanctity of the, the stars. Texas Stars. Because the Stars are now in an island. Yeah. Because they're basically in the same situation that the Charlotte, the Charlotte Checkers are in right now, where there's no real nearby affiliation. That's why we've been blessed with Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, we like especially even with the, considering Iowa, these are really close teams. Yeah. I mean, the furthest 
technically we have to travel. Is San Antonio? Is San Antonio? And now after this year, Texas. if if they move, it'll be Texas or Colorado if Colorado comes into our division. But that that also speaks because now with uh, Vegas being there, you got to put them in the uh, West Co- West Coast Pacific Division. Yeah, uh, in the Pacific Division, which means somebody's got to you got now got to just go like this to the whole and yet a whole another freaking AHL realignment and that is so annoying. The only thing that annoys me about the AHL is how their schedules are well, situated. Th- then they don't they don't their like, lack of cross conference. Exactly, play. they like they are so they afraid need, of they need a schedule play. readjustment. Marty, they need a team they, I swear they blame it on you know oh travel costs. You know I'm calling That's bull on it. I'm calling bull on that. Yeah. All right. So the one thing I also wanted to say is that. The media availability for the Vegas Golden Knights will representatives will be held at a later date following the approval and purchase of the relo- and relocation. And would, so basically, what they're saying is is they can back out of this deal if the relocation falls through. Yeah. Which do you really think it will? No. I think with this because right now because the NHL's hottest commodity right now is the expansion team. That's how it always goes. Yep. They're still on the honeymoon right now. In the expansion front, and it's going to happen for Seattle in the next few years. Although Seattle's already got their Palm Springs team yeah. coming to California in the coming years, and uh, if, that's if, another thing that's going to throw things into a wrench. Yep, another 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 realignment. another Pacific Division team. Well, so, actually, throwing. Oh no, that would balance the the conference. Yeah, yeah, but you would have to still bounce somebody to us, or else we're going right. to be no. With that moving to us, we're still one. So say they Who don't move in ties. We're losing San Antonio. Okay, but even losing San Antonio, so we're the unbalanced division for a year. We also have to figure out because if Colorado does come How? in, how well, Colorado would well, have no, to no, come no, no, here no. to balance hold, us back hold out to replace on. San Antonio. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to understand. I know, game I know, much. but yeah, like even though with Colorado coming in, it's where the Blues are going next. Because the Blues, we don't know where they're going. Are they going to Chicago? Are they going to work something out? I don't think they are because there's too much clashing going on in that to make sense. And the Chicago Tribune's already kind of putting it They're pretty much up. saying, yeah, there's no statement from the Wolves in this at all. Like, basically like, oh, you lost your affiliate. What's up? Uh, like, the, the latest rumors that... I, they, because they, apparently back when they... Before they were uh, going with San Antonio, yeah. they were trying to get into KC, I think. They were trying to get into the Sprint Center again, which yeah. may... Be something I don't know. Like, again, it's way too early to figure stuff out on the this. Sprint Center. Yeah, yeah, the Sprint Center. Sprint Center was built to bring. I thought it was an NBA. Where is that? KC. Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, KCMO. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Like I thought it was originally built to attract an NBA team or an NHL team. Well, yeah, they did want to get an NBA team back there because uh, the ABA NBA merger yeah. eliminated the Kansas City Royals. Right. Yeah. So they wanted to add something. Didn't so they, they ended up moving to Sacramento. Yeah. Yes. Kansas City Royals, yeah. I think, moved because they came, came they came to Kings. Yeah. Which still make no sense. Royals. That's King. that's a whole other sport, though. That's a whole other sport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's still on the same topic of relocation and expansion. Yeah. And West, additions. the Minnesota Lakers moving to, to L.A. where there are no lakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Utah, the, the Minnesota, what is that, the Minneapolis Jazz, New Orleans Jazz moved into Utah oh, where they don't allow the music. music. <laughs> all right, anyway, so let's yeah. get back on top of this. For all you basketball fans. There I you go. Nice little you watch it if you've never seen it. Uh, but this was this is just something that uh, is going on. Uh, William Foley and the Maloof family who own the Knights have pretty much said this is how things are going to be. And when you look at William Foley and how much money he has behind him, yeah, he gets what he wants. Yeah, I I I just 
It's it's funny to watch teams tell him no, though, because I, I like watching people when they have that much money hear the word no, and their face just go, uh-huh. Is there any truth to the rumor that they wanted to try to purchase the Admirals? Is there any truth I, to that rumor? Well, they said they contacted every, they indep- cut, yeah. every independently owned team except for the Wolves. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we can't. We well, can't. obviously, you're well, not they, well, they even contact a team that you want to get rid of. We also had the, the blurb from uh, Don Levins himself basically saying, Oh, we're, we're not accepting anything that they're currently offering. It's gonna be. It's got to be much higher than what they're offering right now. Okay. Which, if it was in the, if it was in the two billion dollar range, what do you want? A half a, bil- a half a billion dollars? <laughs> yeah. And even that's not enough to dig you out of the debt you put yourself in. Yeah. Again, but, dissing dissing the org, uh, dissing the the org leadership, dissing the ownership, not dissing the fans. Yeah, I don't have a problem with the not fans. The and this, in, not this particular, the fans. in this particular incident, I do not have a problem with the fans. I don't have a problem with the team. I don't. Nope. I, I like never the rivalry. had an issue with San Antonio. The only thing I always wondered, what the hell is all of this that their fans do in San Antonio? What the hell is this? I don't know. I, I mean, I I'm pretty sure they're wondering why we do the tomahawk. Oh, the <laughs> chop, yeah. Well, we're yeah. chopping away at a feed. What the hell is this? Nobody from San Antonio. Well, then out again, there's gotta be does there's gotta mean? be people that ask what this means at, at Nashville games. They don't know what it means. Uh, good point. Good point. Yeah, I mean, we all have our little quirks. quirks. Again, mm-hmm. there's people that wonder why I mean, they, why the heck we have cowbells. The yeah, Rockford. I still have people <laughs> asking me what the hell is up with the cowbell. I just say it's a noisemaker, kind of like in soccer, how they blow horns. Oh yeah, the Susu Bayless. Yeah. yeah, that's all I say. Those it's do just not. A noise maker. Point blank, those do not belong in hockey games. Stop. Just stop. What, Boobazalas? Boobazalas do not belong in hockey games. Now, I'm let sorry. that be for soccer. We got our noisemakers. We have cowbells. Not to mention soccer was originally played out, or uh, hockey was originally played outside, so there was probably cows nearby. I would love professional outdoor hockey. Uh, anyways, <laughs> anything else we want to touch on with this? It does suck that the San Antonio Rampage are currently, uh, well, unfortunately, this is their last season of existence. Give them love. Uh, you know, and, and, and that's... This is this is the weird part because this. Unfortunately, could, I did like their jersey, but I don't have enough money to buy one. Well, you'll find get it on puck. eBay. You can get a puck. Yeah, but I wanted to buy their jersey. I like their silver one with the ball head on it. They do they, have a cool look. They do have those awesome patches too, like collector's yeah. patches. Um. So with this all. Totally, time will tell, and we'll be here to give you what comes this way. I mean, here's the thing: what affects one team in the in these leagues. It, it, it makes waves. League. It makes waves across the entire league. We just explained what it's going to mean. Like, teams are going to have to realign and... Please do not move this will, our, our, our division. No. <laughs> this will affect the Western Conference more than it will the East because the move East... Move to the East. Uh, no, so I no. we can play the Hershey Bears a lot. I mean, I would like that just for that sanctity, but no. <laughs> well, that'd be cool. I that know it would be cool, but... The East, the, the, the thing is... Get rid of all of this monotony of playing the Illinois thing, 10 yeah, games. The thing food. is, the AHL just needs to get it through their heads that if you add more of these interconference plays, it ups the attendance. Yes, people because people get bored different. watching Rockford and Chicago 10 times in That's a not a dash at our team. Okay. That's not a dash at anybody else's team. Make more interconference because it's innovating and fun. And, Let's uh, here's an idea. Way. Why don't we play more games against our other division in our conference, yeah, too? Pacific. Why are we not playing more Pacific games? Yeah. Why are we not playing Tucson? Why are we not playing Bakersfield? Why? Are, yeah, all this. Yeah, why yeah, are their, their scheduling needs a definite retool. If they're going to retool anything. If you're going to you play in the Western Conference, you're playing better. Western Conference teams. Well, yeah, we don't play an entire division. Like, have we? When do we play Colorado, or was that last uh, season? Well, ah! We play them again uh, at the. We play them on the road. Oh yeah, just in saw February. It. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't play them often. That's my point. That's yeah. We only play like two games. Yeah, that's what. That's my point. And they're in the same conference. Like, what is it? We played Hershey twice. We yeah. played Laval. If the twice. AHL had any cojones, they'd be like, "No, you got to travel." What is it? They give you like four, like four separate. Was it four series? Like not like all together in games, yeah. but like four different series. And I'm just like, and this whole two, and this, all, and this four whole, this whole four Eastern Conference game crap got to go two against Belleville. Just give two us two against more. Laval, and then no. More Even if you gave us like four teams a year, I'd be happy for that as a start. Yeah, as a four start. sets of two. Intr- to of introduce two. it at least. Like, yeah, oh, four, yeah, four teams from each division must play each division. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. 
And, and, and that, that will and that will even the game. And when you when okay when Palm Springs comes in, that's when you do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because here's the thing: that the league's completely even. Everyone has to play the same amount of games. Because I'm so sick of the West. I'm so there. sick of this whole 72 game. Just sitting crap. in the central, bouncing around, and they wonder why AHL AHL uh, attendance is dropping. Oh, let's wonder why Sa- Sa- San Antonio's going, or uh, not San Antonio, San Jose's going. Um, we got us to have a smaller arena. Well, they're already saturated with so much uh, hockey and sports in uh, in California. In California. But it's California. It I'm, would be unfair to the entitled, stuck-up California people if they don't keep getting everything handed to them. Life ain't fair for us Midwesterners, but life's always fair for the stuck-up, entitled California people. Oh, yeah, in case you're wondering, I got a problem with uh, <laughs> stuck-up rich people. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> No, uh, seriously, California people are whining and crying when it didn't appear that LeBron was going to go to a Laker. Girl, it's not fair. LA's supposed to have superstar, blah, blah, blah. They were blubbering like a bunch of babies because they're so used to getting everything handed to them. And they're now Welcome mad. to the Midwest way of life. Also, like, life the, was it the Lakers? People. Lakers literally robbing, was it the, was it LA literally robbing, uh, Memphis, I think it was when they drafted Kobe, and oh, no, he no. ended up going to taking the Lakers. the Lakers out of Minnesota itself. Yeah, yeah. And now they they do have one of the cooler te- jerseys in the league, the yeah. the, the the Timberwolves. No, they yeah. don't. Not oh no, no more. Minnesota. Not no more. Well, not no more, but they... the Timberwolves used to have a cool jersey. Not no more. Now it's just plain and boring. Anyway, it's too great. Uh, yeah, I think we pretty much said all we need to say about this one. And Maybe. we've had our entire fun bashing the right. idea. Let's, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's bring our, our, bring our sign back up. Just people. again, reminding people, we're not doing this to offend. We're not. Well, if we do... Well, if we do, we apologize. Yeah. Like, if we do, it's... And it's if not, we did offend you, you, you need it. If it is, it's coming out of... it's Like, for me, it's coming out of here more than anything. Because I want to share how I feel about these things. And it's, uh, This is hockey news. We're is, yeah. breaking hockey news. Also, like, there's chances our people are going to agree with me. There's people that are going to disagree with me. I think... I personally think that... Here's... Uh, let me give a little insight on this. Because... Logistically, staying in San Antonio wouldn't be the worst thing for Vegas in the first place no. because they're a heck of a lot closer than they are with well, Chicago. Not only that, you couldn't like because what is it? The Blues would, would the Blues be on their third year now? Yeah. So yeah, there's the possibility that the mutual op- was it that option to uh, cl- was it end the clause right there, or the end clause would have been implemented and they could have easily just went with the Vegas affiliate. Yeah. And then and then the, if they want to figure out their you arena do a thing, mutual contract swap. Yeah, but then again, they said they want to figure out an arena deal because I don't know where they're going to play now because if uh, they're going to play in T-Mobile or some other place in the, the Vegas Oracle. Henderson area. So it is Oracle, okay. Oracle. But uh, it, they said Oracle. they want to figure out I've this arena thing. I've been here, what, everything from I let, read from day one of this, mm-hmm. they were all signs were pointing to Oracle. Okay. Well, what do you mean? The Oracle arena. What about it? That's where the AHL team would be playing. Where the Knights of AHL affiliation will go. Or, yeah, yep. should be the Orleans because the Orleans, Orleans in Oakland, California. Orleans, or, yeah. Orleans, or. Orleans, yeah. Oh. I, mean, I, I was wondering, wondering, what are you? Com- you're yes, confusing. they're gonna move them to Golden another, State. Another, another California AHL team. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, uh, Orleans Arena. Ex- yeah. Excuse us, because I got. Hey, I here's got, an idea. We need two Milwaukee AHL teams. One at the five. No, or let's one let's the get Panthers. Green Bay Gamblers in the AHL. No, yeah. them, I said get them in the ECHL. Put, yeah. Let's put the, like, again. We'll talk about that in the future. Yeah. Um, it is, we are Yeah, already, we should go. We're done. We're good. Yeah. Well, well, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys later on today with a recap of the Texas Star game and a preview for uh, Saturday's Edmonton Oilers game. Uh, yep. Subscribe to us on YouTube, guys. Watch our videos. We'll see you later. Click that bell. Hit like and follow on Facebook. Give us some.